thank you. I, I, I don't know why you're happy tonight, but I, you are. That's good. I know. You're proud to be an American because it's been five days without a massacre. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? How about a hand for ourselves? Oh, what a shitty week, right? Poor El Paso and Dayton still reeling from two disasters, a mass shooting, and a Trump visit. Just... <laughs> Uh, every, uh, but not every city in the country, everyone is asking the same questions. Why? 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 Why does his hair look like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, the president is off for a well, well earned two week vacation, which will be different from working how? <laughs> They want you to know, President will be available at all times if there is an emergency that needs to be made worse. He is completely <laughs> good on that. We, we know, well, we know. Well, we know now this pattern that we have always seen whenever there's a tragedy. It's all about how he's feeling, right? It's like, is he okay? <laughs> this week, he, after, the, after the massacres, he attacked the media. Obama, Google, Sherrod Brown, the mayor of Dayton, Beto, California, Sleepy Joe. He's the only president who thinks consoler in chief means you console him. <laughs> <laughs> and also, he's a whiny little bitch. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, Mr. President, don't console us. Really. We don't... I know. Well intent. Don't console us. And mostly stay out of hospitals. We... Right... I mean, we have seen what he does in these situations. Like, you know, he threw paper towels to hurricane victims. Yeah. What's he doing in a hospital? Throw Tylenol? <laughs> I mean, these poor people. Imagine waking up from surgery and... <laughs> Standing over you is this grinning, gaseous blob and his <laughs> scowling trophy wife. People are like, shit, I must have died and went to hell. <laughs> Please. <laughs> They're like, I'm in the hospital. I've had enough orange jello. <laughs> but of course, you can't tell him he's unpopular. His new press spokesman drank the Kool-Aid, said, oh, yeah, Trump went to the hospital. They said they treated him like a rock star. Yeah, R. Kelly. <laughs> uh, <no laughs> none, none of the eight patients in the El Paso hospital would agree to meet with Trump. Isn't that something? They were... They, they were all asked, would you like to meet the president? And they all said, El Paso. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a sobering statistic. Gun violence has paralyzed 535 people in this country this year. They're called the United States Congress. <laughs> Come on, stay with me a little faster than that. <laughs> No, Americans have made it clear. They will endure school shootings, they will endure church shootings, but they draw the line at their shopping trips to Walmart. That is too far. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, the, the shooter in El Paso did it because all the things that Trump says all the time, he took to be true, like Mexico is invading us, that kind of shit. He took all that to be true. But in his manifesto, he wanted everybody to know that he wasn't getting this from Donald Trump. No, no, no. He was getting it from Lou Dobbs, same as Trump. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what he did do, this guy, this shooter, he wanted you to know, nothing to do with Trump. Although, in the manifesto, Trump does get a story by credit. <laughs> but it's scary the way some of this stuff is going so mainstream. Tucker Carlson of Fox News says white nationalism is a hoax. You gotta love Republicans. Global warming is a hoax. Russia, that was a hoax. White nationalism is a hoax. Hillary Clinton runs a pedophile ring out of a pizza parlor, completely true. <laughs> That one we know is true. <laughs> and Tucker's evidence that white nationalism is a hoax, 
He says it's because he never met one. <laughs> oh, come on, Tucker. Yes, you have. 